Right before we jump into this video, if you want to get my free 11 days to better photography mini video course, head on over to fronosphoto.com 11 days to get started right now. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and I want to help you understand your camera's light meter. Now, what is the light meter and what does it do? Well, this is pretty simple. Almost every camera on today's market has a light meter inside. It's that thing on the bottom that has the plus all the way up here, the minus all the way here, and then a spot right in the middle that's theoretically the proper exposure. If you want to get the proper exposure, theoretically, you just get the line of the light meter right in the middle. Now, that's not always going to give you the perfect exposure, but it's a great starting point. So let's talk about what the plus and the minus means. If you see that your light meter is all the way to the plus side, that means your photo is going to be overexposed. What does overexposed mean? Well, it means you're letting too much light in and that your image is going to be too bright. Now, conversely, on the other side, if you go all the way to the minus, think about it, it means that your image is going to be underexposed. And when it's underexposed, it means you're not letting enough light in. And then if it's right in the middle, Technically, that's saying that that is the proper exposure. Now, keep in mind, it's a good starting point. What's happening with your light meter is that it's taking the brightest scene, uh, the brightest part of the scene, and the darkest part of the scene, and giving you the average, which is technically right in the middle of the light meter. Now, you can make tweaks here or there to make sure that you have the right exposure, but this is a basic way to get your right exposure, is to line it up right in the middle. So as you can see, the light meter is something that you should take a look at. Now, if you're used to shooting in auto, the camera is taking care of the light meter for you and putting it right in the middle and giving you what it thinks is the right exposure. Now, your light meter can be controlled by the exposure triangle. As you change your shutter speed or your aperture or your ISO, the light meter is going to be directly affected by that. Now, I want to give you a guarantee right now on how to get the proper exposure in three shots or less. I know that you, even if you you've only shot in auto can get the right exposure in three shots or less. And I'm going to show you how simple it can be. So let me take off my glasses since I don't shoot with glasses. I'm going to start with just a an exposure just made up out of nowhere. So I have it set to 1600 ISO at 2000th of a second at F32. We're going to shoot the bobblehead real quick. There's that picture and it is super dark. It is underexposed. So what do we need to do? Think about it. Underexposed let more light in. So I'm going to let more light in by slowing my shutter speed down. Here we go. Let's go to 1 500th of a second to see how that looks. I'm not even looking at the mirror. I'm just guessing the proper exposure right here. So we take that picture. Yep, let a little bit more light in. It's even closer. So that's two shots and we're darn close. Now let's get to the third shot and we should basically be right on. So here we go. There's the third shot, and the exposure is basically right where it needs to be. Now, you can see that I'm looking at the back of my screen. Don't let anybody tell you that a good photographer or a real photographer doesn't look at the back of their screen. To get your exposure right when you have the time, you have the screen built in. Take a look at it. It doesn't hurt you to do that, but all I will say is during a photo shoot, once you have your exposure locked in, don't do what they call chimping, which is take a picture, look. Take a picture and look. You're gonna end up missing everything that's in front of you. So this is just a basic understanding of your light meter, what it means to be over and underexposed, and how you can get the proper exposure in three shots or less just by starting. And remember, only make one change at a time to your exposure triangle. That's going to give you a better chance of getting the proper exposure much quicker. And as you get better, I guarantee you can do it in two shots or less. But if it takes you more than three, there's a problem. Three shots or less, you can do it. And if you'd like to know more about how to get proper exposure and understand the exposure triangle and start to capture images that I know you want to capture, you can check out the Fronos Photo Guide to Getting Out of Auto, which you can find over at fronosphoto.com guide. I have a free preview that you can watch and start to learn from right there. And if you decide it's for you, go ahead and pick it up and that is where I will leave it. Thank you for watching Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya. Subscribe now.
watch this, watch this video.